Recording. All attendees are in listen-only mode. All right, Marissa, you're on. All right. Hi, everybody. I just want to make sure everyone can hear me before I start. If you could just type in yes in the little chat box, that'll help. <clears throat> All right, cool. I recognize some names. Um, welcome to today's webinar on how to increase your commissions. I'm Marissa Goodbody, the Referral Partner Manager, and today we have Steve Gomez leading the webinar. Um, I know many of you have been with us for a while, and uh, you're here today because you have some interest in understanding the premium product or upselling or doubling your earning potential. So you are in good hands with Steve. He's been with us for since its inception and he's been working with us for years. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass you all to him. And if you have any questions, you can just use the chat box or um, ask me later, but we'll answer your question before the end of the webinar for sure. All right, Steve. All right, hello. And I actually passed myself the screen as well. So hello everybody. Um, uh, Marissa and Scott asked me to join uh, the group affiliate uh, webinar today to talk about a few things and I am happy to do so. So. Uh, of affiliates. We have affiliates who are just straight up marketers. We have affiliates who are traders slash uh, live chat room runners or YouTube channel pages. There's many different ways you know you can approach trying to create more value and to create more value to create more stickiness and uh, more subscriptions and more recurrings come through. So I guess what I wanted to do my job is to maybe show the platform uh, and a few things that uh, you may not have, have been aware of that you could show for some cool value in uh, in your um, realm. I'll show you a few ways in which uh, which I use it uh, as well. Um, a couple of new things, real quick, right off the bat. You know, our newest beta version is going to have this uh, new single stock window, and in there we've got some um, news tabs. But more importantly, like this uh, insiders tab, for instance. I'll get to this in a minute. But AIM this morning is a, a virus-related type of play, and in this new similar tab on the um, single stock window, we have other stocks that pop in here and immediately give us some ideas of what's going on in the virus-related. Um, um, sector. So that's something that's new. I wanted to highlight that before I forgot about it. Um, and I think where we want to go with this is we want to all figure out how can we create value ourselves in the way in which we present. And I guess I'll just start off showing you how I try to create value using uh, a couple things, primarily the AI Neo. I've got my, I've got my uh, pen here. And what I want to do is I want to just cross out Holly 2.0 for a moment and cross out Holly AI for a moment because these are being reworked. Holly 2.0 is going to become a swing channel and that's going to become very interesting indeed, especially for swing trading um, affiliates and traders alike. But what we've been working with for the last couple months here is AI Neo. And Neo is very good for a new trader. This is where I'm kind of getting at. This is something that can allure a new trader. New traders are afraid to make their own decisions. If they've made bad decisions in the past, it hurts. And they don't want to go back to that emotional place because it hurt and they do it again. So they're so ready to give up control of trade selection to a guru or a chat room, or in this case, Holly AI which gives us some really interesting plays. Uh, for instance, if you're not familiar with AI Neo, this would be a premium um, tool. And upselling your users to a premium tool obviously is gonna require creating some sort of value for them. And so what I'm saying is most people have a hard time coming up with trade selection. There's 8,000 stocks out there and it's just too hard to pick which one and when should I buy. But today, AI Neo gave us this particular one, AIM, which I used as an example a moment ago. And this was nothing more than a pure technical play of the AI Neo finding something in action. And then we quickly look at our, uh, you know, our tab here and we find out the details of the stock is it's a uh, pharmaceutical preparation. This is probably a testing type of a, a, a company and here's a bunch of news tabs as well so we can zero in and we've been given in the entry and I'll highlight the entry right here uh, hello Dan I'll highlight the entry right here there's our buy tag the blue line is our entry line okay the red line was our stop line never got hit and we're off to the races now here's where I try to create value um, the, A the AI Neo gave us the idea to enter this AIM at 359 
But now you've got, you know, um, a follower or a new trader to the market. They're saying, okay, no, well, now I'm in this thing. Well, now what do I do? Um, well, sure, you can get out and exit with the AI if it does. And today it hasn't exited yet, which is a very good thing. But more often than not, the AI is going to exit early. And so I take the, the teaching that I talk to uh, when I do educational webinars. Step one is you use the NEO for long trade ideas. Step two is once you're in the trade, I'm using the 10 period moving average, the simple moving average. And those of you who have heard me talk before know that this is the really the only simple, tried and true, one stop, one size fits all for me indicator. And this indicator kept telling me the price was being pushed back into play, no reason to get out. So all I'm really saying here is I can create value for some of my users that are afraid to look in the market. Step one, what is the AI Neo telling us to look at? If you get in, step two, just use your 15 minute chart and your 10 period moving average to determine when to get out or more importantly, if I should stay in because that's where the profits are being made. And so that's where I really see um, guys, uh, affiliates out there as to what the users want. They don't want complicated. Now our program can be very complicated and that can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. It can be a good thing for a user like me who's been using it for 17 years. You know, I'm user number four. I'm sorry, I'm user number three in the system. You know, first went Dan and, and Phil, and then they called me. And so it is a very intense program for somebody who knows what they want to get out of it and use. But let's face it, you guys, when you're marketing out there to affiliates, there's a lot of newbies coming to the market. And not only are they completely perplexed and overwhelmed by the amount of information the market is giving us, they're perplexed and overwhelmed uh, the amount of um, layers and uh, tools in which the Trade Ideas platform offers them. So whenever we can shrink something down to super simple, I think that's a big help for them. And so what I'm saying to you guys is today, upselling to the premium gives them the ability to have this scan. They don't have to program it. The scan just comes out with great relative volume trades. NEO today on this one right here, AIM is doing 11 times normal volume. That's all I need to see to know that this stock is in play. What about this other one that we haven't even looked at yet? Looks like it's not doing a whole lot, but let's take a look at it. Um, there was our entry, uh, never really went too far negative. It got in the money and wouldn't you know it, this is where I would be teaching my people right here. The trade is no longer valid. That closing candle right there was the tell that mo momentum was broken in this trade. And ever since then, for the last six candles, momentum has indeed remained broken and under this moving average. So um, just giving you what I like to do, guys, a simple one-two punch, NEO for some entry, interesting entries, and using the 10 period SMA on a 15 minute chart as the guiding hand to determine when to get out. There's no reason to get out of this trade right now. What TI version has a similar tab? Uh, Steven, it's going to be in the very next version coming out in beta. I don't know what that's going to be. If I look at my version here, it's probably uh, very high up there. We have 0.140. All I can say is the next announcement of a beta version coming out will have the similars tab. And on a day like today, boy, we can create value with this, can't we? You know, what about, you know, um, companies uh, that uh, want to help people work from home, um, like uh, work, what we're working on here on, uh, on Slack. We could try and find similar companies uh, over there as well. So that's a cool tool. Uh, what else? Um, there's another big factor in, I'm going to bring it up here, the Brokerage Plus paper trading tool. Now, you don't need premium access to have access to the Brokerage Plus paper trading tool. You do, however, need premium access to use Brokerage Plus to trade um, your strategies uh, automated. If you want to start creating alerts and have those alerts fire trades to interactive brokers, it gets pretty complex, but you'll need a premium to do that. But for those of your users who are on a standard version and maybe they don't want to upgrade to the premium version, that's an, another step up and it's almost double the price sometimes, maybe we can create some value here in the paper trading module. Uh, we have a great video. If anybody needs it, you can email us and we'll send it out. But it's a you know, seven minute tutorial video on how to connect using the new Brokerage Plus tool. And then when you come here, you can connect and we have this option here for trade ideas, simulated trading. And from here, we can simulate trading anything we want. I could come in here for the moment right now and look at the cues and say, those look like they might be ready to bounce. Let's grab 100 cues and go ahead and buy. And now there's our buy tag. And let's say we want to go ahead and um, put a stop order in there. Let's add a stop order of, uh, we'll call it 195. 
194.50. Click OK, and look, there's our stop order. If I want to adjust that stop order, I can adjust, and then the actual order cancels and replaces. So we're starting to get people skewed and uh, uh, steering them towards user interface, graphical user interface for trading, uh, setting alerts, um, setting stop alert, setting and adjusting stop targets, or even setting a limit price alert for a positive sell up here. You can see we've got some nice values of profit and loss as I adjust the um, moving average, I'm sorry, as I adjust the trailing stops, those P&Ls change. So what I'm getting at here, guys, is this is also a great new tool for new traders to come in and simulate what's happening on the jump rope out there without losing any money. And if we can keep you know, people from getting frustrated in one to two months and keep them sticking around for five or six months and learning a lot more, well, I think everybody wins in that respect because you've got people sticky, um, um, sticking to the program because of something like this. If you were not aware of the paper trading module, everybody has access to it and you should be pumping it and showing people how to use it and the benefits of using it in the um, chart windows. Um, we can take it a step further if we wanted to. We've got some buy and sell buttons. It's a bit more advanced, but still, it's a lot more for uh, users to play around with and tinker with. And again, the big feature is you don't have to upsell them to premium to do that. Just try and keep them using the standard version if that's all they want to pay for. So that's another thing that can keep people um, um, <clears throat> interested. You know, back to going to the premium version, again, we have the back testing. Now, I don't think there's really going to be anything today that's worth trying to demonstrate something that will back test well. I think you can all agree everything out there is broken and uh, very difficult to find some good strategies right now because everything is just off the charts crazy. But this is a very cool back testing uh, device that allows people to go back and say, what if, and using management strategies and giving them a nice uh, p l curve at the end of it all, and they can analyze it. This is, again, a premium product, so it would be a, a reason if you find somebody who really likes to tinker with data. This is the kind of thing where maybe somebody is working during the week, but on the weekends, if they saw that they could play around with this, they can lose themselves for hours on the end, uh, going down the rabbit hole, playing with possible back testing and possible scenarios. It gets people really excited. So um, that's another way in which we can keep people certainly engaged. Let's see, as the data comes out here, it will slowly emerge, uh, trying. Well, it's really slow, but um, nonetheless, it's another great tool. Here we go, it's the back testing tool. Look at that, whatever settings I had on that seemed to be working okay. Um, interesting. So uh, let me look at my notes here. Um, back testing, oh, price alerts. Here's something you guys can uh, consider doing. You know, when I do my afternoon webinars on Tuesdays, a lot of times at the end of the day, I'll go through some of my scans in real time and show some of the users what I'm looking for. And if I see something that I really do like, I will create a price alert. Um, the price alerts are going to look like this. And let's just take a look at one that I've got working here. For instance, uh, ZM, the trade of the week that might or might not trigger. It's in that blue line up there. But when I do webinars, I'll, I might set nine, seven, eight, nine working price alerts that are good to go. And from here, if you guys don't realize this, this is a very powerful thing you can do to engage with your followers. Right click and save, share. We're going to share these three selected price alerts. And then you copy and give it to your users and let them receive that cloud link. And when they open it up, all of a sudden they've got seven or eight um, price trigger alerts that you've set. And again, there's another way in which they kind of trust anybody but themselves for a possible trade that they could jump into and um, participate in without having for them to think too much. So if you're not aware of that, you can set price alerts, whatever your strategy is, day trading, swing trading, and um, give those out. Another way to keep your users engaged um, with you. Let's see here, Steven Dolores have some questions. Will futures be added um, to the platform with the partnership from the small exchange? Well, anything having to do with the small exchange will be available. If they're going to be trading fractional shares or fractional commodities, fractional futures, then that would be the avenue to participate there. Uh, correct, Steve. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait for Sean to kind of plug in that um, uh, small exchange uh, business development. Uh, when will E-Trade start for Brokerage Plus? Don't know that either. Again, another business development front um, that's out there. 
and um, we should know more probably soon. I think right now E-Trade and a lot of these other companies are probably really just trying to mend the, um, the fire at the moat, at the gate right now with what's going on out there with their executions and platforms and the crazy market volatility. But when things settle down, hopefully we'll you know, get some more direction on our uh, future business with, uh, with E-Trade. And as far as the affiliate link, maybe Scott is listening out there. Um, that's a good idea. Steve D is suggesting maybe we take, and I'll drop that link over to you, Scott, uh, if you don't have it. It's just a six-minute YouTube um, YouTube video on how to get going and up on the paper trading. I'll go ahead and grab that to you right now and shoot it over to you. And that might be a good idea, as Steve is asking. Maybe we want to um, create a uh, an affiliate link for that one. So let me give you that link over there. And we'll continue with the questions here. There you go, Scott. Maybe we can make that an affiliate link for paper trading, get people going on that. Um, another question, is there anything? Yeah, there we go, I think we're caught up. All right, so, and again, you know, my my idea and, and my reason for being here, um, being both a longtime user, trader, and I also have my own affiliate account as well. I know what works. Uh, if you're out there dropping links into Twitter, um, you know, just be aware of the basics. Uh, any kind of visual is better than just text. Everybody's eye will scan through and stop on the visual. So find a really cool eye-catching visual and then make your point with your text and drop, of course, your affiliate link in there as well. Um, that's always a good practice to do. Uh, we talked about possibly sharing price alerts uh, if you're a trader with your group. Um, but I think the best bang for the buck for the takeaway here is this paper trading uh, module. And um, this paper trading option for standard users is a pretty cool deal for them to really come in and get engaged and um, stay engaged with uh, the platform. And if they're staying engaged and they're staying happy, then they're going to be a um, repeat um, uh, user underneath you, as we would hope. Uh, so I think it just figure, figure out where you're coming from, what your niche is, and um, try and figure out how we can keep people engaged longer, paper trading, how we can keep people excited about new products, whether well, that would be the premium products with um, price alert, sorry, with uh, AI Neo. As again, I showed you, let's check in on that trade. I, th I think it's still doing pretty darn good. Yep, so, you know, that's a pretty good uh, proposition. When I was a very brand new trader, if I had some alert that would spit out some idea and all I had was one real uh, philosophy on how to manage the trade once I was in it, I would have been pretty darn happy back then. I had to figure all that out for myself. So these are just some of the tools that uh, the Trade Ideas is using uh, to try and really help shorten the learning curve of, of our users. Um, another concept I have, I have written down here is, you know, my, my theory and my method comes from this particular scan here, the A table and also uh, the jam down is kind of a complementary to it. But I wrote an ebook or a chapter on, it, on an ebook and you can do the same thing. Create an ebook and um, write a chapter, and here's where it gets fun. If you have something you really want to sell, you could probably sell your commission or your, your configuration. You know, some of the guys at Warrior Trading sell their configurations. I know there's some others, not by name. But if you've done the work and the homework and you've got somebody sold on your strategy and your method of trading the market, well, then you could sell them your cloud code. As simple as that. And so the way in which you could do that is create a chapter in an ebook, uh, put together an ebook with a few of your scans, write about how you use those scans, give some visual examples on charts of uh, past examples of how those scans worked out, and then at the end, place the cloud code to those scans and then charge for it. You could charge for that ebook. Or if you want to be benevolent, give it out free and uh, keep on moving on. But the point is, that's another idea for people out there to create content, whether it's going to be um, premium content or free content, um, using our cloud links to share what it is you've learned and you've created and uh, you have constructed. So uh, price alerts, just kind of backtracking here. You can set price alerts and share them with your uh, users. Um, paper trading, get that uh, paper trading video out to your users if they haven't seen it, if they're not aware of it, show them how they can simply turn it on by going to new brokerage plus and even standard version. You can simulate how to just get in and get out and use um, that module. Uh, and then me, the way I take it to the nth level is just trying to keep keep it simple, using NEO and using my 10 period moving average because for me, that seems to satisfy what the users out there want. Again, the users don't want complicated, the users want simple. The users generally don't trust themselves, especially if they're new. 
granted there's a lot of great traders out there who trust themselves every day of the week but a lot of the new traders they're so overwhelmed and so whatever you can do to simplify and keep things simple and then show and demonstrate um, productivity and profitability I think is a no-brainer so that's really all the prepared marks I have the prepared remarks that I do have uh, for you guys today um, if there's any questions uh, directed towards me, you know, go ahead and send them through like a few of you have there in the questions panel. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, just continue to sell value, find the value and sell it. How about a copy trade function where anybody can subscribe to and commission sh share it? How about a copy trade function where anybody can subscribe to and commission share. I'm not really sure of the construct or the details of that question, Steve. You could probably email it more to Marissa or Scott in detail, um, unless she understands what you're saying, but I don't. <laughs> email us, that sounds great. I'm not really sure right now, but I could talk to Scott about it. Yeah. All right, Marissa, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back over to your desktop and okay. um, you can walk us out with any announcements or anything that you feel is important to uh, finish the, uh, the presentation off with. Uh, okay, well, I don't really have anything to else to, to really add, except I did want to keep everyone in the loop. Um, we are still planning on migrating over to a new referral uh, platform. I know that we sent out a, an email back in January and we are a little bit behind, but we um, found a solution and so we're hoping to get that going in the in the near future and we will keep everyone updated and the instructions and all of that when we are ready to move forward with it. So um, thank you again, Steve, for going over, over all of the premium um, functionalities and some tips on how to upsell and I hope that everyone found this webinar very helpful. Uh, there should be a recording and we will send that out to you guys when it's ready. Um, like if you have any more questions, just send them my way and I hope everyone has a great day and thank you for attending. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye. All, right. All right. Sounds good. We'll have the recording out soon. Thank you.